Three, two, one. Welcome to another episode of Let's Get Drunk with B-Rat. I, if you're going to drink, let's start this off right. If you're going to drink, don't drive. If you're going to drive, don't drink. Something near and dear to my heart. 22 veterans died daily, PTSD, suicide. So if you know someone suffering from PTSD, please reach out to them. Acknowledge that individual. Just acknowledge that individual. Maybe listen to what they have to say could save their life. Could keep that person grounded to this earth and we don't need to lose anyone to this sick disease all right i've got another kansas beer for you and uh, i couldn't pull up a lot of information from this and my um my suggestion if anyone's out there watching this that's a craft brewer and you see your review on here please when I pull up uh, information for your website or any other place, Untapped or uh, Beer Advocate, uh, give some information, give some history about where you came from, ab about you yourself, when the brewery started. Um, I know a lot of craft breweries are eco-friendly and they're pretty proud to put that on there. Some are family owned and operated for years. I know Left Coast Brewery that they always give me a cheers on the Untapped app. Because when I have these beers, uh, Untapped app's a great app to track what beers you've tried. And uh, you can write little little notes in there saying, hey, this is a great, fantastic beer with a, a solid hop taste, citrus, whatever. You know, um, it's just a great app. And it, it can also, some liquor stores save you a little bit of money. They'll give you a discount on a, you know, like a put together six pack. All right. I've got a beer out of Hayes, Kansas. Hayes, Kansas. It's called Willy Nilly, made by Defiance. Look at all that craziness we have in the background. Defiance Brewing Company, Hayes, Kansas. 5% uh, alcohol by volume, and this is a golden ale. Um, I don't know, man. It's just got, you know, it's got some fun, fun stuff in here. You know, it's got a dinosaur, it's got a bear, it's got a monkey and a deer. Um, and it's called Willy Nilly, you know, hey, Willy Nilly. It's just, I, I think you just got a, like a fun type of uh, background on this can. Um, I, li I like the, the logo and stuff on this can. I think they did a nice job. It caught my eye. Um, I give those guys a... 37 on their on their logo there i mean it's it's good it's solid i like it very creative uh whatever artist did this and i know this is a big thing in the craft beer world is artists doing artwork for the craft beers i think it's absolutely fantastic for a young artist or an old artist to get his work out on a beer can why not i mean uh i watched an episode of um i forget which uh craft beer brewery it was but the artist literally had made, you know, like, you know, a lot of these craft breweries brew a few different ones. So, I mean, he literally had like a hundred different art renderings on the cans. So I think that's pretty impressive for um, artists today that could get in on this. All right. Uh, Defiance is out of Fort Hayes. I could not find a lot of information on it. Um, I, don't, I don't know when they were established. All I know is they're in... Uh, Hayes, Kansas, not Fort Hayes, but Hayes, Kansas. And uh, I've seen them in a few of the beer, uh, like the ba Beer, Bacon, and Bourbon Fest, the uh, Chili Head Fest. The... I don't know. I've sampled their beer because, you know, they came and uh, participated in the competitions. So uh, I haven't had this beer, but I can tell you uh, from what I had, they, they put out a pretty solid product. And I'm very proud of uh, the Kansas craft breweries. I mean, they put out a real solid product, and we have a lot of strong breweries here in Kansas, I feel. You know, I'm trying to get the word out. I love, you know what? I love American. I love where I'm from. I love Wichita, Kansas here. Um, or actually, technically, I'm in Mays, Kansas. But uh, that's, uh, that's another story. I... <laughs> I'll have to share that later. Basically, if anyone knows Wichita, Kansas, I am on the corner of 37th and Mays, and they consider that Mays. I'm like, I don't really consider it Mays until you go past the railroad tracks, but that's just me. All right, let's get on with the, the beer sipping. Let's see how she pours. All right, 
I, you know, it's not a bad head. I kind of, you know, I leaned a little bit. It, it's uh, it's actually got some larger tomatium bubbles. Uh, it's a golden ale. I think it's a little, I'm not sure. I don't think it's supposed to be that dark or cloudy, but, uh, let's give the color to that a three, five. I'm going to give the head a three, eight. It's, uh, the bubbles aren't dissipating that much. I wish I had a camera. Watch this guy on YouTube, man. He could, you know, go down on it and then he can make birds fly in the background and shit swoop in there. I I don't have that technology. I'm just solely doing this on the phone and whatever app I could get to try to edit this thing and put in things like that or, uh, you know, uh, that or, um, I don't, I don't know, or, you know, sound effects. Or I could forget to plug in my mic and this is me. All Mr. right, let's get enough of the riffraff. Let's give her a sip. It's really, uh, it actually tastes pretty light for a uh, ale. Um, you have the malt, you can, you can taste the malt right out of the gate. Um, it's just got a really uh, smooth type of finish. Um, I think this is a uh, kind of, I mean, I'm getting a little weed out of that here. Let me, I don't like to normally sip it because then I can't do the chug bullet, but I want another opinion. Get maybe just a slight hop in there. Um, not bad. Uh, little to no aftertaste in this. I mean, this is a summertime beer, I feel. Oh, don't tell them this is beer out of the... If you message... Yeah, hold on. Um, it's a solid, solid summertime beer. Go fishing, go camping. Uh, you can most definitely uh, drink by the fire and tell some stories and have some good times. And that's what drinking's all about. You know, nothing better than grabbing a cold one, sitting down with friends, making some new friends, telling some stories. I worked in a bar for uh, probably about 13, 14 years at least. And uh, nothing better than just when you start to see some of the regulars, uh, hearing some of the stories. And just, you know, grabbing a cold one, grabbing a drink, having a shot. The good times that come with that. They don't call them spirits for nothing. All right, you find yourself in Hayes, Kansas. You're you're drinking, you're having a good time, socializing with the locals. You know, maybe talking to some farmers, maybe about the wheat crop. A Marine comes in there, he has a patch. This is my patch. And his name's Casey, and he's looking for a free beer. But you don't want to buy him a free beer, you want him to buy you a beer. I'm doing the work for you. This is the chuggability test. The chuggability test is a test that I came up with in the sick mind of my own. Um, but I do try to give ratings. Okay, taste rating. Um, I'm going to give the taste a 3.8. It's a, I like it. It's, it's smooth. It's clean. Uh, very little aftertaste. Uh, it, it's a good solid ale. It really is. So if you like an ale, uh, and, and it's kind of a little bit on the light side. Uh, believe it or not. So, check ability. Here we go. <sighs> I like it. Uh, Defiance, great job. Um, so, if you're in Hayes, Kansas, or happen to, to find this beer, I know Hayes is close enough to Colorado. Colorado uh, may distribute it. I don't know. Here's something. If you are a brewer, uh, please hit me up, leave me a message. Uh, I will purchase your product uh, as long as you mail it to me if you're out of state or something like that. That way I can highlight your beer on this show and give me any type of history you have with how you started it. Um, maybe you were, a lot of the craft brewers stories start with, uh, some friends that thought they'd brew beer because they just love drinking beer 
And then they they sat in their garage or their kitchen or whatever with family and friends. And they were like, oh, my God, this is so good. You should try something. And then, you know, one thing leads to another. They find investors or whatever. They have the money already, and they start a brewery. So um, hit me up. All right. I don't have to go to the fridge because I just made a video. Part I pay tribute to the men and women that sacrificed it all for this great country on this Labor Day weekend. This is my second video. American Bourbon, another veteran owned and operated business from, uh, I believe, First Sergeant Grunt Style. This is to the men and women that sacrificed it all for this great country. I love America and I hope you love America too. And of course, the hardworking active duty service members that can't be here on this Labor Day because they are uh, they're overseas. And just pull where we are. Woo. America. All right. Thank you, Brad Lance, Scott Lotsky, Casey Patch, Airplanes Brewery, uh, Lynn Johnson, uh, John Sanders, uh, anybody else. Um, my 39 subscribers. Thank you guys very much. Thank you for believing. Thank you for watching. I appreciate everything. Please subscribe. Please share the shit out of this. And uh, let's grow this channel. Urgh. But thank you. Thank you. Until next time. Simplify, motherfuckers.